Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, I'm gonna do a quick brake pad change. So these are the brakes I have here. Uh, these here are the rear, the FA213s. And then you have your front FA209s. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, do the rear first. Once we finish the rear, uh, we'll get that all tidied up and then we'll move on to the front. Uh, just to show you what you'll need, uh, I looked this up on the uh, unofficial Zero manual here, and I found that it is a T25 Torx that's required, a flathead screwdriver, uh, small. Go ahead and remove the clip. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'll try to do it with one hand to see if it's possible. Just stick this here. Okay, so here is the clip. Uh, what I ended up doing is just sticking it kind of like this here. Well, not like that. So just stick it in between the bolt and the clip and slowly pry it out. Try not to uh, be too aggressive with it because it is pretty uh, thin metal and fragile. So now you got the clip out of there. It should now allow you to undo this bolt here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that next. Oh, it's kind of tight, but just give it some elbow grease and it should start coming out. And once you loosen it up enough, you can just go ahead and pull it out. And right here on the tip of that, you can see where the clip goes. At this point, you wanna go ahead and just pull out the brake pads they should come out relatively easy. They should come towards the rear of the bike, like that. Just go ahead and double check your pads. Uh, mine look correct. So there they are. And yeah, let's continue this way. You'll go ahead and see now that the caliper is all the way out. So we now need to get the caliper open. To go ahead and push that caliper in, you are going to have to open up your brake fluid reservoir. Uh, my bike is leaned over. Doesn't look like it will spill, um, but more than likely, since we're going to push the caliper back in, we're going to push a lot of fluid back into this little reservoir. Uh, take a little bit of fluid out and put it into a catch can here, or oil drain pan, and um, yeah take some out. So, so I did drain it a bit, left a little oil. I didn't want it to go too low, but once you push the caliper back in, you'll more than likely get more fluid back into the uh, reservoir here. Go ahead and start pushing your caliper back in. Put the brake pad back in. And I always just like to use the old one because obviously the old one is where this came out from. And sort of kind of just push it and you'll know you're pushing it in because you'll start seeing fluid come back bring you guys back this way Burr is now pushed back in what I ended up doing was just putting the new brake pad since it has more meat and just squeezed it gently inwards as a matter of fact since my brakes are a little dirty and it has a little buildup. I'm gonna get some brake cleaner and just hit them real quickly. Now that it's all clean, uh, we're gonna go ahead and put a bit of ceramic grease on the back of our pads. And then we're gonna slip the pads in here. There is a little clip. Uh, let me get a light. Now that we can sort of kind of see right there in that area is where the brake pads are going to sit at. And they do say to go ahead and lightly sand the top of this and the rotor. I'm gonna go ahead and lightly sand this. So all I have is 800. They say to use about, I don't know, 200, 300, something around there, but all I have is 800. So I'm gonna hit it with the 800 uh, just cause that's all I have, so. The uh, brake parts lubricant that I got uh, is this 
Permatex. And it comes with this little brush. So go ahead and lightly brush the back of your pad. to here. Now get your bolt here, feed it through one, feed it to the next. Everything's back in. I'm gonna grab my flashlight so I can show you guys. Now you see the brake pads down there. They're in the slot. That should be it. So go ahead and tighten down that bolt. It states on the unofficial zero manual that this has about 10 foot pounds torque, but they say hand tight. So I'm gonna go with the whole hand tight aspect. You do have that clip, so it doesn't back out on you. Um, but I'm gonna hand tighten it. Uh, it didn't take very much to take it off, so I'll give it that kind of grip strength. So just get your T25. And just give it the big old twist and turn here. Get your clip back here. But the clip is right here. And it should make a little click sound. That's pretty much it for the rear. So we're gonna go ahead and move to the front. I'm gonna flip the bike around and start on the front caliper. Uh, don't forget that you did take some fluid out of here. Once the bike is level, you wanna probably top that off. So I'm gonna leave it like that for right now and just put the cap on it and flip it around. If it needs more, uh, I'll go ahead and check it before we take off for a test ride. And yeah, let's go ahead and flip it. Okay, so the bike's flipped, and here is our caliper. Brake pads are in here. Yeah, it's got a good amount left over, but I'm gonna swap them out, just to swap them out. I'm going to remove a bit of the uh, fluid in the reservoir, because we are gonna have to push the caliper back. So two Phillips screws. The bike is sideways, and I I think I filled it up to the top, apparently. Uh, we're gonna have some fun trying to get some fluid out of here, but all in all, take some out. But let me go ahead and uh, get my pump ready. I'm gonna come back to this and we'll see how this goes. So what I ended up doing is twisting the handlebars to the right. Gives me obviously more room down here in the front of the wheel. So that got enough fluid out of there. Now we're gonna start over here. Essentially what you're gonna end up doing is removing the entire uh, assembly of this caliper. Here we have, I believe it is a size eight Allen. Gonna go ahead and undo this guy. We removed it. We're gonna wanna go ahead and put some new thread locker after. We'll just scrub that with a little wire brush right now and take off the next one. And just slide it out carefully and gently and it should let go. There we are. So I'm gonna go the same way, take it apart um, and then push this caliper back in. I'm actually gonna do it with these brake pads and just gently squeeze down. And then you gotta do this evenly because there is two pistons. There's one on this side. And there's another one on this side. You'll get to the point where it can no longer go any further. That's it, right there. So same thing as before, get this clip out. This actually shows you really good how the little clip system is here. Um, flathead, push this out and back out this bolt. These will drop out. Now that we already made the clearance in here, it'll be a lot easier to get your new pads in and to get them onto the rotor and reinstalled. Same thing here. Here's the little guide where the brake pad catches and on the other side as well. You see this build up here. I'm gonna clean this all up so it looks nice and fresh. Take the flathead and just kind of twist and pull, twist and pull. And the same 
25 mil fits in here. And eventually, you'll be able to pull it out by hand. Cool. So here it is. Now both brake pads. Should be. Here is the new pad. And here is the old pad. They match up, they line up. But continue with this install. So let me put this guy right here. All I did was basically shimmy it all the way down, ended up like this, and just kind of center it back up. I'm gonna start one of the bolts just to hold this in place. There we go. And I'm not gonna thread that all the way, I'm just gonna use it to hold it. Don't go too overboard with the thread locker, just put some enough to coat it. Don't go too overboard. I think I went overboard, but you get the point. Stick it into the hole. Just do this all by hand. Don't use power tools. Be a lazy ass. You will strip something and then you're going to be crying later. And then get this guy back out. And same thing, just kind of adjust it. I caught it on the first go around here. And do it, in, do them evenly. And I fucked up. You wanna know why? So I forgot this. So don't forget your brake clip here. So now I'm gonna have to pull this bottom one out and put it back. No fun. Live and learn, live and learn. Nice coverage. Nice coverage. Put it back in. Slip the bolt back in. I always pull it this way because you're gonna twist to the right. Just tighten it. And then this guy wants to like keep sliding, so do that. Now I'll check the torque setting and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna get my torque wrench. The unofficial zero manual says about 19 foot-pounds of torque to 19 foot-pounds. Good. I'm gonna go ahead and put this clip back on here. Cool. So that's reinstalled. Everything's good to go there. Go ahead and check the brake fluid. Where did we end up? We essentially ended up maybe what, like halfway. I'm gonna leave it there, put the screws back on, and we're gonna take a, a slow cruise around the neighborhood right here and just break them in slowly. We did the back, we did the front. If you do this without recording, it should only take you about 20 to 30 minutes each caliper. It should be relatively easy. If you guys have any tips for to do this easier or um, any stories of changing your brake pads, uh, leave a comment down below. Uh, that way, um, yeah, we can discuss that and see the different methods, tricks, and everything else all the other Zero owners do. Okay, so for the brake procedure, the break-in or bedding procedure, what you wanna go ahead and do is, first of all, just go ahead and pump your brakes. Get that fluid back into the caliper since you push some of it out. It'll feel soft at the beginning and then eventually you'll start feeling it back to the normal firm self. So just do that a couple times before you start going and then proceed. What you want to, want to go ahead and do is do about like a five mile per hour roll. Hit the brakes both at the same time. Do it again maybe like four or five times and then i like to progress up to about like 10 miles per hour do that five or six times go five 
That was about six, seven. So do it again. Do it again. And listen out for any noises or any weird weirdness coming from your brakes. And you don't have to death grip them, just feather in the brakes. All right guys, so all in all, brake job is done. Uh, double H censored brakes are in. We got the new boys there. I uh, went ahead and bedded it in. Did a 510-15 roll about 510 times. Should be pretty good now. The brakes feel great. They don't bottom out, so that's good. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys have, like I said, any questions, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys around. Peace.